Want to know how to start using Polygon? Asking yourself, how do I buy Matic on Polygon? Well, not to worry. I'm going to show you exactly how to get started with Polygon and how to buy Matic. Easiest method. No bridges and no high Ether fees. So what's the easiest way to buy Matic? Let's find out right now. Nothing in this video is financial advice and always do your own research. This is just for you, for instruction, education, reasons. Okay, so let's get started using Polygon and use my favorite new method, which is super easy to buy Matic directly on Polygon Network and buy Ethereum directly on Polygon Network. This is gonna be super easy stuff, super fun stuff. First thing we need to do is access MetaMask using the puzzle piece. It's the same thing on Chrome. We're going to click here. It's going to show us that we have some stuff ready to go with our uh, address up here and some assets down here and some activity by SenseWap. We're gonna go here uh, to this random web page. We don't really know what it is. Oh, it's Staking Bits' uh, Medium account, okay. So we're gonna go to the network name being Polygon and we're gonna copy this. And then we're gonna go to MetaMask and we're going to uh, add a network, okay. We're gonna go to this dropdown and we're going to add a network. And then we're going to press the network name and put it in here. We're going to go to look at some other details. Let's do a side-by-side -side enhance. The new RPC URL is the following. Okay, well, great. Let's paste that in. And then the chain ID is 137. Okay. Uh, the currency symbol is Matic because the network used to be called the Matic network and then it rebranded to Polygon. That's pretty cool facts. The block explore URL. So this URL, this is the place where you go to look at different transactions. You can look at the history of your accounts. Um, you can look at any account and see what's coming in and out of it. You can see if it has, you know, activity. That's what, that's what the blockchain explorer is for. So now that we've done all this, we put in all the details we need to put in. We're going to press save and look, it's like magic. Now it's right here in our list. Polygon. Look, there's a new logo here, the, the Matic logo. And look, there's the uh, address for Polygon, which is the same address as it is for the Ethereum mainnet. If you were to create another account right here and create a new Ethereum address, um, it would also automatically create a new Polygon address within the MetaMask uh, web interface for you. So you don't need to worry about this like dual managing all these networks, okay? The same thing would happen with Binance Smart Chain. I mean, that's pretty convenient. That's pretty convenient. Okay, so now that we have MetaMask set up with both the Ethereum mainnet and Polygon, we're gonna load money onto our MetaMask wallet. Not only on the Ethereum network, we're gonna buy Ethereum for the Ethereum network. We're gonna buy uh, Matic, token on the Ethereum network, but we're also going to buy Ethereum on the Polygon network directly. And we're going to buy Matic on the Polygon network directly. That's happening right now. And we're using my new favorite service called MoonPay. 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 MoonPay is the new hotness. It's the new hotness. Honestly, I think it's the Coinbase of web wallet, interactivity, user experience, customer satisfaction, company, MoonPay. I cannot go on more about this because this video would be too long. We're just gonna get started right now and show you. MoonPay.com, boom, we're going there. We're gonna full screen this. Okay, we need to buy crypto. The first thing we're gonna buy is Ethereum for the Ethereum network. Now, the reason why I'm doing this in this video is because you need Ethereum on the Ethereum network in order to stake Matic tokens on the Ethereum network for consensus reasons. Okay, so I'm showing you how to buy Ethereum on the Ethereum network. We're gonna start off with, oh, I don't know, $200. Then we're going to enter our wallet address, which is on the Ethereum mainnet. It's the same as Polygon, but I'm doing this just for habit reasons. Then we're going to paste this in here. Cool, cool, cool. Then we're going to press continue. No problem. We're going to put in this, some email. You're not going to see my email on the screen. Yep. Okay. Email in. Okay. Now I'm going to confirm some codes. Okay. Now I already agreed with MoonPay's terms of use and privacy policy when I did this on Chrome. So I'm not, adver I'm not advocating just clicking on things and pressing I agree. All right. Continue. 
And then we're going to enter some details. Now, this is a KYC process. It's called Know Your Customer. This is to prevent crimes and to adhere to regulations of the government, things like that. You know, Coinbase has the same procedure. Gemini has the same procedure. All right, so we're putting my name in. Justin, Renkin, everybody knows that. My birthday, you won't see that. I will tell you though, that it happens once a year. All right, and then um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we're going over here. We're gonna put in some more details uh, for the credit card that we're gonna use to buy, uh, well, the, the debit card that we're gonna use to buy crypto. Okay, I finished putting in my details. You press continue. That's my billing address. And then I'm going to put in my cell phone number. Okay, verifying, I press continue. Okay, verify driving license. This is another part of the KYC process. Know your customer. Okay, so I used my phone's camera on photo mode, not video mode, to look at a QR code on MoonPay, and now I have a special interface on my phone that allows me to upload a photo of my ID and stuff. So I'm doing that right now. Okay, so I submitted the pictures of my ID front and back, and now it wants me to take a selfie. See if it's a good one. Yeah, I'm cheesy, deal with it. Okay, it says that I'm all set. And now we're back to the desktop application here uh, on the website. And I'm waiting for something to happen. We're looking at spinning wheels. Okay, so now that we've chosen Ethereum on the Ethereum network, and we have put in our email address, and we have gone through the KYC for MoonPay, verifying our identity and putting in our uh, pictures of our ID, as well as our selfie, and also verifying our phone number. Uh, we have finished putting in our card details and our billing details matches our card details. So we are ready to press continue. Blah, we pressed it. All right, so we're ready to make a purchase. Wow, the Ethereum price is getting higher these days. All right, let's view the fees to see what the fees are. The processing fee is $7 and the network fee is $16. Okay, I am now ready to press buy now. Bloop, almost done. It's doing stuff and it's sending to our MetaMask address right here. You can see it starts with 280, ends with 0AE. Same is true here and here. I always do these kinds of checks uh, uh, before I do the transaction. I mean, it doesn't matter afterwards, but I always do these kinds of checks before I do things just to make sure that I have the correct address uh, selected because with blockchain, yo, it's permanent. The transaction goes, it's gone. There is no reversal from the uh, originating side. But while this is processing, we need to buy some other cryptos as well as uh, some cryptos that are on the Polygon network directly, which is the coolest part of this video. So let's do that. Drop down, okay? You type in Ether, and then you see two Ethers. You see Polygon, and then you see the Ethereum proper ether on the ethereum network we're going to do the polygon ether and then we're going to choose an amount boom and then we're going to view the fees this time now as you can see fam <laughs> the processing fee is here courtesy of MoonPay, but there's no network processing fee like where's the where's the additional second fee that i had to pay when i bought ether proper it's not there I'm, it must be because we're on the polygon network with super low fees yeah, it is. Anyway, let's press continue. All right, so our MetaMask address is gonna be the same one as, as usual, which is good. We're verifying 0AE at the end. We're verifying 280 at the beginning. Everything is kosher. Let's view the fees one more time. That's just a cool thing to see. It just is. Continue. All right, so same card and everything. We're not going to make it a monthly recurring buy. We're going to agree to the terms of use. Buy now. All right, it's doing something, it's processing. Okay, it looks like it did like it and we're processing the transaction. This is great. We're getting about $190 worth of ether. The fees, hey, no network fee on this. I like that, that's great. So uh, I think what we need to do next is buy some Matic directly on the Polygon network, which we can also do with MoonPay. So let's do another transaction. All right, so back at our trusty screen, this time we're going to choose Matic, and we can buy Matic directly on the Polygon network using MoonPay 200 is the amount. Now, we're going to view the fees again. No network fee once again. 
Polygon knows what's up. It's that bridge. That was what was making it more inconvenient. And now that's gone. That's gone because MoonPay is just helping me out, yo. Continue. All right. Address 280 in the front, 0AE in the back. View fees. Fees are good. Continue. Thanks, Polygon. We're going to agree again. Manually agree. Checkbox. Boom. We're going to buy now. Buy now. So this is going to take somewhere between a few minutes and a few hours. Movie magic will happen. When we come back, you're going to see all of the proper crypto in its proper place. And you'll know that's how you get started with Polygon and everything works. So you'll probably notice that the first thing we did was buy Ether on the Ethereum network. Uh, we did that because we need Ether to pay the fees in order to stake Matic on the Ethereum network. That's right, because you have Matic on the Ethereum network, ERC-20 token, you know, chilling. Then you've got Matic on the Polygon network, which is the gas for doing Polygon transactions, okay? Now, we also purchased Ethereum on the Polygon network, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can use that to do things like make offers for NFTs on OpenSea. Uh, you can make bids with it, uh, but really it's just, it's Ethereum. You're able to do all the th normal things that you can do with normal Ethereum, but there's no Ethereum fees that you have to deal with on that main network. It's all on Polygon. Now, the other thing we did in this video was we purchased Matic. Uh, this is pretty cool because you need this in order to pay the gas fees when you're doing Polygon things. So you'll have uh, Matic in the Ethereum network for staking for consensus reasons. If you choose to do that, you don't have to do that as optional. And then you have also Matic on the Polygon network that you use for your gas. And then you can also use it for liquidity pairs and DeFi protocols uh, like a Matic ETH pair or Matic uh, super cool new token pairing. Uh, those exist for sure. Uh, you'll find them on QuickSwap and other DeFi protocols. The possibilities are endless. You know that about this industry. So let us click refresh and see the result of our MoonPay activities. We're on the Polygon network. Boom. Look at that. Boom. 95.61 Matic right here. 95.6 Matic was purchased. And it's right there in our asset list. Okay. So we also don't see our Ether on the Polygon network. Maybe it didn't show up yet. Or maybe we need to import the token into MetaMask. So let's do that and uh, put it in there. So in order to import a token into MetaMask, uh, what we need is the contract address for that asset, and we need to get it from a reliable source, okay? We don't wanna get it from a shady website. We wanna know for a fact that it's the proper contract address. So we're here on Polygon Scan, which is the block explorer for the Polygon network, and we're here looking at wrapped ether. Ether, which is wrapped, that means it's on the Polygon network and it's not on ETH proper anymore. It got bridged over there. So there's the contract address that we're going to copy right here, and then we're going to paste it right there. It's going to auto detect, which is a good sign. That's what we want. We want it to show us wrapped ether or weef, and then the token decimals. It's like how many decimal places you can do, uh, and that is going to be automatically put in. We're going to add custom token, and oh, look at this. It already says 0 0.0406 weef. So it knows that it received that from MoonPay and everything is going awesome. Everything is going great. So now we're back here in our uh, overall balances and we can see both the Matic and the Weath that we have gotten from MoonPay. So let's go back to the uh, Ethereum network and let's see if our Ethereum proper showed up. And no, it did not show up because Ether gonna ETH apparently. Ether gonna ETH, but Polygon, it's all here, ready to go, no problem. Just another testament to Polygon and to MoonPay because I did not have to use the Ethereum network to bridge Ether or Matic off of the Ethereum network. I just went straight to the, uh, the Polygon network via MoonPay, which is great. Looks like we're good. That's gonna do it for this How to Get Started with Polygon video. Hope it helped you, if it did, press like, you need to click on the like button instead of just watching me tell you to click the like button because it really helps us out. It helps the algorithm and it helps me look better on monthly reports on how I'm doing here at Market Square. So I'd really appreciate it. But you can also watch videos. There's more of them probably appearing next to my head 
And you can even check out the Polygon Hub on Market Square directly at marketsquare.io. Learn all you want about the Polygon network. Very cool stuff. See you next time.